Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Rohan campaign. I have to say, um, I'm truly surprised by this. We have all sorts of new family members. Usually, none of them would be on the family tree. The royal family. But weirdly enough, Kohnberg and Pida are both royal family members. Bizarre. I, I, I just... I can't fathom how it is we actually have new family members in the royal family. It's so rare. Not only that, Elfhelm the Fat, he's gained a hunter's spear. He's basically Robert Baratheon at this point. Let's see. Um, also, what's interesting about this is that it's Eomer, who's had the son named Peta, and then Kale Wolf, who's had the daughter named Coneberg. She's one of the Cone brothers. A cone sister, if, if, if you will. She's like some weird mix between the Cohen brothers and Cronenberg. She's Cohenberg. See what I'm doing here? I'm saying that she is a film genius. <laughs> Moving on. I'm just I'm confused how it is that Aomer is able to have yes, children when he's like continuously on campaign. I assume his wife is in like Edoras. Unless she's in the camp, like she's a camp follower. I mean, that would make sense, actually. Anyway, um... What has happened? Uh, not much of anything. Dale declared war on the Shadow of Mirkwood. We've retrained all sorts of shit. And we're making money again. I think we'll build a small... A small treasury. Before we, uh, get too carried away. So we are currently recruiting fort units in Karis. We've just received... A bunch of professional troops of Rohan, as well as, well, we've just, uh, we've got some of these uh, fort guys as well in that group. Anyway, uh, someone had mentioned that I can actually hire, or rather recruit, guards of Meduseld in Edoras. Now that we have the, I don't know, it's not a barracks upgrade, but it's a, a, a proper mobilized military. These guys... Look pretty badass. Look at their fucking defense. They have more than double the defense of our spearmen. Man, like nearly triple the defense of our swordsmen. That's crazy. We can also hire Royal Guard for 1,500 gold coins, 500 gold in upkeep. That is the same amount. That is what Oleg High cost in vanilla third age. It's crazy. I almost want to hire some of these bodyguard as well. Just get another general on the on the on the go. That would be great. I really want to get uh, the new stable up and running soon. I want to get these lancers. That would be fucking lovely. Actually these uh, Ritter Mark heavy cavalry would be really interesting as well. But uh, we need to save up to make that happen. Now what is currently going on? We are currently getting... We're, we're preparing to uh, push against Anadwyth. We need to capture Lond Angren. And then we can push north into uh, Malfin. We can push into Lugiu. And we can also capture Southern Dunland. I want to do all three of these at the same time. In order to capture Lond Angren, though... Your order. Gambling needs to knock Captain Fowlin out of the way. And for some reason, he refuses to do so. He refuses to retreat. It's a bunch of Grey Flood Axemen, Grey Flood Raiders. It's prey for our cavalry. So, I want to do this manually. I want to run, I want to run these guys down manually, but I don't necessarily want to show it on camera, so I will do it off camera very quickly, and I will see you in just a moment. Muster your courage, man. Well, that was fairly easy. I just yes, <laughs> bowled them over with the cavalry. And now Lond Angren, again, is uh, basically undefended. We, we ought to just prepare. build a few rams, maintain that yes. siege. We can capture it next fucking turn. As for... Hmm, I almost want to build a... Watchtower down oh, south oh, as well. Actually, I'm going to build one here. There we go. I just want to get as much line of sight infrastructure in place while we have the cash. Although, having said that, 
in Divide and Conquer, you need like zero money to build towers. Like 15 gold ain't nothing. We are currently retraining and recruiting in Bregnus. We want to get an army ready for Swidhelm for when the time comes. And he needs to march on. His target, I guess, would be Dunyard. Uh We'll get him to march to Dunyard. Aldwolf will march towards Alk. Food and gambling will... My lord. He may have to ride a really long way. Approaching quietly. Approaching yeah, Lond Dyer is a long way away. Uh, we may have to hold off on that, actually. I almost need... Well, scratch that. Enidwyth is just terrible on the defense, especially when they garrison their cities with millions of skirmishers. So I could probably sweep both of these towns with one stack under Gambling. Gambling may need some more troops to accomplish that, though. He has half a stack. Maybe we could supplement his army with... Let's see. Yes, my lord. Looks to me like he may need another unit of spears, although so does... Aldwolf. But Aldwolf is going to get fort spears. <laughs> that was a little more costly than I anticipated. Uh, we'll grab these two units and we'll send them over to Gambling. That won't be too bad. I want to build a tower here as well, or at least on this road. That can be within the next few turns. I'm going to grab some of these units out of Isengard as well. Let's see, two units of... three units of archers, actually. Let's grab a fourth. And... I, uh, maybe Swordsman would be good. And a unit of axes to deal with any sort of armor that Enidwyth can muster, even though they have, like, zero fucking armor. And we'll need some cavalry to give to Swidhelm as well. I don't necessarily want to pay for it, though. Uh, let's see. Let's give him some of the... Actually, he could probably make do with scouts, I feel. Let's recruit, recruit rather, a unit of scouts. How expensive are they? 144. That's basically a unit of infantry. I can get two units of scouts for what these Rohan riders cost, essentially. Not necessarily, but very nearly. And you know what, Enidwyth... Their troops are so light that these scouts just cut through them anyway, so I'm going to do that. Two units of scout for uh, Swidhelm. And, uh, huh, I am experiencing a small amount of lag. There we go. For some reason, <laughs> I was experiencing input lag. Very bizarre. Okay. Theoden is going to leave Elfhelm the Fat and ride back to Edoras. I have to say, um, what's his nuts? The army of the... Shadow of Mordor, was it? Or was it, uh... Approaching quietly. Mirkwood. I think it was the Shadow of Mirkwood. He was just chilling over here. That is, his invasion army was. And, uh, now it's gone. I have no idea where they've gone. And I have no idea what they plan to do. I worry, though, that the Mouth of Sauron <laughs> is showing up. He's coming up here to... I don't know, sell me the worst. He's trying to sell me, like... You know how there's like those infomercials, like the Slap Chop? That's what the Mouth of Sauron is coming to sell. But it's like, there's no novelty to these products. It's basically like, he's like a vacuum salesman. Decades too late. He's trying to sell me bath towels. He's trying to sell me phone books. He's trying to sell me... Religion, probably. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, these are all things that are going out of style. <laughs> Uh, well, not necessarily vacuums, but uh, definitely door-to-door -door vacuum sales. Very out of style. All right. Um, you know what, guys? I just want to say, statistically, you are the people who most enjoy the video. Most people stop watching by now. So I just want to say thank you for watching. And why don't you just uh, head down there and and uh, give me a pity like. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to do like a call to action, but every time I feel it's very awkward. I don't know how to do it. I, maybe I should just do it ironically. Smash that like button. Smash the like button. I don't know. I'm just, I just, I would like the likes. That's all it is. That's all it is. All right, you guys. Uh, we may as well end the turn and 
check out Lon Angren. Um, that's... Oh, I meant to talk to Umbar as well. Give me your maps. Please. Ooh, they want to trade. They'll give us their maps. We will begin trading for 650 per turn. Let's turn this down to 500. They may be into that. 1500 gold, that's not so bad, right? And Shazam. Now, I have no idea how or when we're going to be trading with Umbar. I almost feel bad because Umbar, of course, is an enemy of Gondor, right? And here we are trading with the enemy. <laughs> we are almost... I mean, in a way, we're sort of sleeping with the enemy, correct? It's a bit dirty. We have a failed mission to blockade the port of Karis Galadin. Of course we do. Uh, let's see. We are... Well, we're actually making a little bit of money. Coming of age, Sigbert, Kuicheln, Kuicheln? They both have a mentor as well as a tutor. Interesting. Okay, so we have recruited some units in Karis as well as Bregnus. I want to see where these characters are. We have... <laughs> Kuichelm here, who is a benevol benevolent ruler, rather. He's good with cavalry, and he's a talent for command. He also looks like a bit of a tubby fuck. And I am not seeing Sigbert, or whatever his name is. I do recall, though, that Sigbert was a massive asshole in my Mordor campaign. Dude, this guy is so fucking hot. He's physically attractive. But unfortunately, he's 16, so I'm just going to rescind those statements. He is no, in no way attractive, actually. He is an ugly little child. And I definitely don't want the equivalent of... I guess... Maybe the FBI knocking down my door. I definitely don't want that to happen. Um, okay, we have... Your orders, my lord. Quichelm in Onadrith. And I want to send him to Roshberg, perhaps? I almost feel like... Actually, yeah, he is the better general. Let's send him to Roshberg. And Sigbert, we can probably use on the Western Front. Let's send him to Karis. Or Lond Angren? Karis? Lond Angren? Hard to say. I do know, though, that I'd I do know, though, is what I meant to say, that I want to build a tower down here, so I will do in the coming turns. Gambling yes. is going to, to battle. assault the walls. I'm not sure. What the fuck? Wild men defenders. I don't think so. You motherfuckers. I'm going to capture Lond Angren. I'll see you in a moment. Um, I assume this is going to be fairly easy. And there we have it. We've conquered Lond Angren. And it's, it's interesting now because we have a port... And, as far as I'm aware, we're actually trading with the Havens of Unbar. Actually, no, we're trading with Dullam Roth first, or Gondor. This would be Gondor. We're trading with Gondor first. I wouldn't mind actually upgrading the ports, and, well, eventually upgrading the ports, and uh, trying to get trade with more people. More money, more problems. Um, we actually lost a huge amount of infantry in that battle. The Axemen and the Swordsmen did not do particularly well against the enemy infantry. Um, and um, I can't say I'm not surprised. It's pretty much a given at this point that we are going to lose all sorts of infantry when going toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemy infantry, even if it is enemy militia garrison. It's bad. Our infantry is not professional by any means. We definitely uh, weigh heavily on the cavalry, as is to be expected. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to have to send even more infantry across to our good friend and confidant, gambling the chivalrous, because he is out of men. I think I'll just disband these two, because we're not going to be getting any men, that is, any... Uh, Rohirrim infantry that far west, not for a while that is, 
Unless I go to Durwath, or maybe Bregnus. Bregnus is able to recruit men, but it is actually a little bit busy at the moment. I I feel as if I need to build a a bit of a uh, a little bit of a barracks in Karis. So maybe we'll put one down once the roads are built. Okay, let's see. 446 gold from Lond Angren. Special features, Wildman Garrison. Okay. We have farms, we have a leather worker, sheep farming, ancillary training grounds, meeting huts, ports, dirt paths, smoking houses, grain exchanges, and a catapult maker. Very interesting. Although I assume I need... I need some culture to be able to recruit that stuff. Let's see, what else can we build? Ports. We can eventually build a shipwright. Uh, and a Merchant's Wharf? We definitely want a Merchant's Wharf. That will allow us to trade with Gondor and uh, Dolomroth more so. And all we need is to upgrade to a large town, which we ought to do very shortly. Just a couple hundred more people. I would be... I would be open to upgrading Lond Angren immediately essentially uh, because as I said it is um, a port city our only port city and uh, I think it would be great to extend our trade now we have talked to the havens of Umbar and we see that they only have three region uh, regions rather we've talked to the Haradrim and they would rather not give us any maps but I'm sure the very Ogs of Khand are around here somewhere Without question. Uh, probably like... Uh, although it does say near Harad. My mistake. I thought that said Khand, but of course it doesn't. Truthfully, I have no idea where these guys are, so I'm just going to send Leowine, or Leonir rather, yes. around just to kind of stumble into someone. When it comes to Leowine, however, is he still talking to the dwarves? My good friend, Leowine, where are you at? My lord. We shall talk to Erdluin again. Give me your maps. Uh, do we have their maps? I can't recall. I believe we do. Let us offer an alliance for some regular tribute. Obviously because they're bankrupt. Let's go 500 for five turns. Have I offered something like this before? I can't say. Just rejected. Okay, 750. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I don't even want to... Well, yeah, four turns. Let's try that. 750 for an alliance. We have the gold to spare at the moment. Ah, motherfucker. Okay, a thousand gold for four turns. Uh, and we want an alliance. Okay, these motherfuckers do not want an alliance. <laughs> that much is clear. Um, okay, let us... I think it's about time we head east with this motherfucker. And talk to some other dwarves. Because it's pretty clear that Erdluin wants nothing to do with us at the moment. Probably because... Of our wars, honestly. <laughs> I need to end some of them. And in order to accomplish that, I need to defend Isengard a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, yes. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to grab these four units. We're going to send them to Karis. And uh, we'll send these two over to Gamma. There we are. And we now have four units of infantry, six units of infantry on route. And our army here is roughly a stack and a half. I want to say like 13 units. Something like that. 
And you know what? That is perfectly fine. I think that is more than enough men for gambling at the moment. He's going to be sitting on his hands. I think I want to capture Lond Dyer last of these three. That way, if it's necessary, we can redistribute some of the troops away from Alkfud, perhaps. Away from Dunyard, if needed. And we can uh, certainly address whatever issues we may have. And we have better line of sight. We can see that Elkfood is now garrisoned by half a stack. That is certainly all right. I'm glad that um, Anadwyth and Dunland have sort of cut down on the uh, on the attacks. <laughs> it certainly allows me to readdress my situations on the home front. I think I, I do need some more militia or something of, to that effect, because I need to garrison these cities that I'm capturing. Um, although it appears that the nearest place to recruit that would be Bregnus, which is uh, currently very, very busy. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to end it here. When we come back, we're probably just going to have Gambling sit for a little bit as he reaches, or rather, receives those reinforcements. Same with Karis. And Bragness is going to try to pump out units. Uh, we actually have a bunch of spare men in Gineer that I'm going to send west. It'll take a few turns, but it'll be fine. And we can actually recruit a new unit there. Uh, let's get the fourth spearman out there as well. I'm not so concerned about defending and garrisoning Gineer when we have armies in the field. Which will be Swidhelm as well as Aomer. When the time comes, that is. When it's necessary. Uh, I also don't want to forget that we need to... Oh, God. Here's that asshole I was talking about. It's the Witch King himself. <laughs> the Witch King is just chilling on our borders. And I am not into that. But as I was saying, I definitely don't want to forget that we need to... Defend... In the north. I'm actually going to recruit some scouts... If possible, that will definitely help me defend. And, uh, okay, it looks like <laughs> we may be running out of cash. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Always appreciated. My name is Incoherence, and I'll see you guys later.